cat room too. Space motherfuckers! Moon colonies be damned, I have been drinking. The preferred beverage of astronauts since age five and loving it. Tang, orange flavored powder drink of space champions. What does Jordan drink after slamming down the most amazing zero gravity dunk ever space jammed? Tang, what does Elton's Rocket Man survive off of on the hellish surfaces of Mars? Tang, what does Picard order to the bridge of the Enterprise, boldly going where no man has gone before? Earl Grey, hot. This is the final frontier, and I intend to make it a surprisingly salty one. I am going balls deep into space, the sort of fearless teabagging that has been used to erect flags on the surfaces of everything from the moon to various college frat house dorm rooms. And I'm not just saying that because I've been drinking tang since like four in the morning. I'm talking about all of the preparation I have been doing for years to be ready for space, like wearing moon shoes that my friend found in a free box so that way I'd have a better understanding of how to moonwalk or teabag in moon gravity or attempting to pee into hoses that I tucked into my jeans from the bottom cuff because I believe that astronauts are probably hooked into some sort of similar contraption or not sleeping for days on end because I believe astronauts probably have to be awake the entire time they are operating the shuttle and also sometimes I suffer from insomnia or eating as much freeze-dried space ice cream as possible because in space, they have fucking space ice ice cream, and you just have to deal with that shit. It's like Forrest Gump shit up there, for reals, like that scene where he got shot in the buttocks so he got to eat all the ice cream he wanted, but then Lieutenant Dan was in the bed next to him with no legs, but he made that bet where Forrest was a shrimpo captain, then Lieutenant Dan would become an astronaut, and then Forrest did become a shrimpo captain, and then Lieutenant Dan got magic legs and showed up in Apollo 13. I mean, I got it all figured out. And I'm not saying that I'm gonna chop off my legs so I can get magic titanium space legs, but I am building a totally awesome, fireproof spacesuit with built-in waste recycling tube and I'm gonna use that recycler to convert my pee into tang as I don't sleep for days on end floating upside down while eating as much freeze-dried space ice cream as I want and it's gonna be the most badass thing I ever do because why should space only be for the bored and the rich I know that virgin space is about to start chartering shuttles into orbit for a sweet quarter million but isn't the whole notion of space for all of us to dream ourselves into explore stretch out amidst and then clog up and ruin. Look, I realize people with money are the best at ruining shit, but I can do that too. And I'm gonna start with space because I'm almost out of tang and it may be a short walk to the grocery store, but it's a giant effort to get off the couch when I gotta do it without my moon shoes. And this earth gravity, so soul crushing, someone wrote it into law, always bringing me down, rooting me here, so small, so useless, so far from the moon and the stars and the sky. When you first pour tang mix into the water glass, it clouds up like a galaxy being born. We are still barely even able to conceive of how our universe created itself. Like it was just stirred up from the nothing. Like everything was bright, bright black and life opened up its brain and saw all this space and said, I am going there, motherfucker. <laughs>